Okay, let's talk about limiting by content provider. And uh, the big benefit of a discovery system is it searches databases from all sorts of vendors. Even though this is an EBSCO product, um, this, uh, this searches all of our different databases. So let's do a search here. I'm going to do a search for Python. We'll run a search. Now, if you want to look at it, it's coming from all different databases. If you want to look at it just from one certain type of database, you would click all filters here. And you would scroll down here to content provider. This is the database it's coming from. And I'm looking at all the databases that it's coming from. Let's show 39 more. And let's say I want to look at things just from the O'Reilly platform. That's a mostly a technology database. Okay, so I apply. And that's the magic button. You got to hit that apply. Okay, so now everything in here is coming from O'Reilly. Okay. These are all computer manuals and computer videos and computer courses on Python from O'Reilly. So now the tricky part, let's say you want to take that off and you want to look at some other content providers. This is, this is what's kind of strange. So you unclick that because that was the provider you had. Now when you go here, you will still only see the O'Reilly platform. You have to click apply to get that to come off. So once you hit apply, Okay, now it's showing everything again. Then if you want, want it to change, you click all filters, go down to content provider, and now we're seeing all the content providers again. And you can do more than one of these as well if you would like. You could say, I want to see academic one file, and I want to see points of view reference sources. Apply. <clears throat> okay, now you're only seeing things coming back from those databases. You see Gale Academic One file there. Gale, it's mostly Gale Academic One file because since that's such a huge database, but there will be some from the other, the other database we selected in there too. So again, if you want to change it, this is the hard part. This is the tricky part. Go in here, take those off. Okay, then click Apply. Now, so it's kind of tricky. Then you have to go in again if you want to set a different content provider. So it's kind of a multi-step thing here. So every time you do it again, and this is just, you may not even have a need to do this, but if you want to look at things just from certain, just from certain content providers. Okay, I'm looking at opposing viewpoints there. Again, if I wanted to take that off, I would click that off and click apply. That's the hard thing to remember is you have to hit apply if you want to take that off or change it. It's it's kind of a, I don't know, I don't find it all that intuitive, but that's that's how it works. Let me know if you have any questions.